Yo, what's happening guys? It's N60 Sean. So a load of WWE 2K18 news dropped yesterday, so I thought we might as well make a video chat to you guys and basically get excited about some of the uh, some of the ways that the, the new game can affect some of the stuff that we do with our WWE YouTuber series and talk about some of the new features which are coming up. Uh, so with WWE 2K18, the, like, the main tagline for it is be like no one, uh, which I think is mainly because a lot of the things that they're building around which i think is going to be interesting for us is the sort of my player my career game modes so every single character would have a specific fighting style kind of like the ones that you pick when you enter into our heroes championship matches and stuff so it could be like uh, giants high flyers uh, all of that sort of thing and each different fighting style will have specific things that they can do also in the my player thing which they've um which is interesting is that i've always wanted to do like a my career mode series like around a specific youtuber the only reason i haven't done that on wwe 2k17 is because the story mode just just was a bit rubbish to be to be just to be quite simple about it it wasn't very interesting you'd end up fighting the same person over and over again and it didn't really sort of justify um it wasn't better than the content we were already making however they look like that they're changing that in wwe 2k18 with uh, a more concise story which you can replay over again which I think is going to be good because we could do it with different YouTubers and also as well there's free roaming in the backstage area so on some of the older games like uh, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth uh, you could just walk around backstage you could chat to other superstars in the backstage area and that was pretty cool and there's quite a lot of potential of the things that they could do with this I mean you could join the Titus brand with Titus O'Neil. I don't know if anyone would ever do that. Uh, going into the authorities office, uh, going to, maybe you could go and chat to Xavier Woods and play mini games for up, up, down, down. That'd be pretty cool actually. All star backstage fights which then implicate the story and loads more. So it'd be interesting to see how they're going to incorporate that free roaming thing into the story mode. But that's really exciting. I think the my player, my career stuff uh, sounds so like really, really good. For this year's game so might be a series that we could do when the game comes out so another thing which is important to the stuff that we make is the uh, creation suite and apparently that's got a massive overhaul for the new game so create a superstar has been rebuilt from the ground up with a uh, new base models for the characters so our created wrestlers are gonna look more realistic and there's also base models for different ethnicities as well which is which I think is like really good because the, the characters always just looked so default I think it's gonna be good to have them looking more like real human beings which is going to be good for the stuff that we make one thing which hasn't changed or isn't going to change uh, is the face scanning technology that they use so there's a face scanning system which ea used for the fifa games which gets really realistic results and it also means that the created the more custom characters look far more realistic uh, wwe is sticking to the face scanning system that they use because it makes it easier to put uh, wrestlers who are maybe sadly no longer with us or who maybe look loads different now because they are old or who they just can't actually get access to to bring them into the studio. Their face scanning uh, system that they use at the moment allows them to create those characters easier in the game. So uh, that's why they're sticking with the old face scanning system. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be how many improvements they can make to the realism of the custom characters, but hopefully it can be pretty good because obviously that's an important part because we like to get the likeness of the YouTubers that we make um, spot on in the game. So maybe that'll be a thing that they improve, but I don't think it's going to be like the massive overhaul, which I think maybe some people who make custom federations uh, are looking for. But on positive sides of the creation sweep, just completely trashed it with that thing there, uh, they say they are overhauling creative soup stuff. Also as well, they are... Uh, um, are really adding loads to create a video. So create a video is a big part of uh, what we do because it means we can make Titan Trons for um, our YouTubers and it also means that we can add backstage cutscenes in and add some storyline to the matches that we do. Um, the drawbacks with using the create a video at the moment on WWE 2K17 is A, the loading times are mad. Like I would include so many more cutscenes in it but they just take so long to load and also as well it's really hard to actually work out what cutscene you're loading because it's just literally like scene one scene two scene three scene four so you could be loading up a scene waiting ages for it to load and it might not even be the one and there's like like hundreds and hundreds of scenes so um in their create a video um section i'm hoping that they're gonna make the loading time shorter for that maybe add some more scenes as well that would be amazing and just make that whole system easier to navigate i know um, i was watching a video with Pulse and uh, he actually suggested that to the um, the 2K team which is excellent, well done him, two thumbs up from N60 Sean. 
And also another thing they've added to create a video, which um, they can add with the uh, the match highlights and stuff, is a free cam, which essentially every single WWE YouTuber is rejoicing at the presence of a free cam. It's going to make adding uh, special angles and stuff in our matches so much easier as well. It's going to make adding story components like loads easier. And it's just going to be a good thing for like people like me and also like Forever Movement and stuff to create some really good content for you guys. So uh, for, for WWE YouTubing, based on some of the things that they've talked about, this is all good news. One other thing, a huge new thing, well, it could potentially be huge, uh, is to create a match mode. So this could be, I mean, they didn't give much information on how much scale this is going to be. So this could be just from tinkering the rules a little bit. So you can have like a normal tag team match with count outs and stuff, but no disqualification, for example, or like a time limit, or um, it can be like a two out of three falls tag team, no disqualification match, like little, little um, rule changes. In my brain, the way that you could expand it is by going, it's like maybe by starting by what sort of ring or environment would you have? Would it be a steel cage? Could you have different steel cages? Would it be a hell in a cell? Would it be a steel cage inside a hell in a cell? Could you then add a weapon theme like tables, ladders and chairs? Just chairs. Maybe like a novelty weapon theme like Halloween weapons or something or trash cans. Uh, could you maybe have a TLC Hell in a Cell match or something like that? Could you then change the win method so you'd have a TLC last man standing in a cage match or something like that. So the actual uh, depth of this mode is in my brain could be amazingly good. Inferno matches, win methods are buried alive and stuff. Maybe my brain's going a little bit too crazy, but the potential of this creator match mode, if it's gonna be like a standalone thing with loads of different options, that could be insanely good and it would, could, would add an entire new dimension to some of the matches that we can create for our series. So as we, talk, as we touched upon earlier with the creator video mode, uh, create a story mode, which was in WWE 2K14, which was amazing. Uh, there's no, there was no confirmation that there is going to be a creator story mode. If they can sort out the creator video things that makes cutscenes easier to um, put together, then for me that would be just as good as a creator story for what we do. So that would be that would be pretty amazing if um, one of those two things can get sorted out. Uh, there's new graphics engine. The graphics apparently are looking better than ever, mainly because. This game isn't going to be on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, so last gen is gone, which means the shackles are off, which means that the graphics can be improved immensely. 2K showed um, some of the YouTubers uh, a entrance of Randy Orton side by side with the entrance from Randy Orton in the new game with all the new lighting dynamics, the skin rendering and all that stuff, and apparently the game is going to look amazing. So that is very, very, very exciting indeed. Another thing as well, thanks to, I think because we've left the last gen, consoles behind is the new multi-man match mechanics eight man tags eight people in a royal rumble eight people in a battle royal eight people in a ladder match that is insanely good uh, it's going to be good because it means that we can have bigger faction feuds as well like the whole of the vanos crew vanos delirious uh, wildcat and cartoons we could throw them all together against another side maybe a bigger faction of heroes or something uh, it's going to make the Royal Rumbles a lot more fun. The Royal Rumble match has got a big overhaul as well. So our next Heroes Rumble in the new game uh, is going to be insanely good. So that is all really, really exciting as well. The Royal Rumble match has needed a little gloss of paint for um, a little while, I think. But having eight people in it, that's going to be madness. The one thing that I hope it on hope is that the lag isn't going to be an issue. Because sometimes even in like a tag team match with four created wrestlers, sometimes the slowdown can be quite bad and the loading times can be quite long. So if 2K can sort that, that is going to be amazing stuff. Another thing in the Royal Rumble as well, there's like um, wrestlers will be smarter to who they're friends with. So say we were doing a YouTuber Rumble and Mark Applier was fighting h 2 Delirious in the ring, but then Jacksepticeye came out. Uh, the AI would know that Markiplier and Jacksepticeye are a team, so they would then team up against Delirious, which is a thing which I'm surprised that they haven't done already, but that would also be like a cool thing to have as well, and would make like loads more sense. Uh, there's more referees as well. We all love referees. Shenmue, Billy Bob Webster, they got some company. Uh, but they're not going to be the actual WWE referees, because I think it was like in 2006, they so decided that like referees 
aren't going to be named on television as well. Because you know, you used to be able to, when you used to watch wrestling years ago, you used to be able to know the names of all the referees. But they don't say the referees' names anymore. Um, they are considered secondary to, like, the WWE superstars. So they don't get a spot in the game, sadly. But there are a selection of referees. We'll see if Shen Wu and Billy Bob Webster get to make it to 2K18. Um, right, uh, also as well, this is some stuff which doesn't necessarily directly affect uh, the content that we make, but it's all still pretty interesting as well. Apparently it's the biggest roster by far. I mean, there was 150 in the last game, so it's sort of thought that it's going to be around the 200 mark. So I'm interested to see what depth of the roster it's going to go in, because you've obviously got Raw, you've got SmackDown, you've got NXT, you've got 205 Live, you've got the UK Championship guys. Uh, also, I think we might be a little bit late for the May Young Classic girls to get in but there's just such a depth in the roster at the moment and also legends as well it's going to be interesting to see how many of those make the cut i'm just hoping it doesn't encroach on create wrestler slots uh there was a hundred in the last game hopefully there'll be more but i mean i'm just hoping that more superstars doesn't mean less create a wrestler slots another thing which doesn't necessarily affect us is that they've uh, redone the commentary team for uh, this game so uh, now it's michael cole corey graves and byron saxton corey graves is my absolute hero in life. Uh, they are going to be the commentary team for this and they're completely redoing all of the lines. They're having the commentary team together as well so the lines feel a lot more natural rather than just recording all the commentators separately that they have done in the past. I just hope that you can still turn commentary off. Not because I don't like the commentary, because I don't even know it, I haven't even heard it yet, but just so it will make the content that we make loads easier. I don't want to go back into the 2K15 days where I'd literally have to re put in all of the sounds to the matches. That would be a nightmare. But, new commentary, that'll be good. Uh, the backstage brawl area is three times larger, which is gonna be interesting for the free roam bits for my career as well. There's gonna be a garage and a loading dock added. So if you've seen the backstage area with Chris Valerio and Danger Monkey brawling around in that in a couple of videos ago, that is gonna be even bigger in the new game. And one final thing, WWE Universe looks like it's going to be, it's been completely rebuilt from the ground up, which I guess it really sort of needed to do because obviously there's the two brands now and all this other stuff. So they completely rebuilt it with storylines which make more sense and happen organically. So um, storylines now happen because you do something. If you jump someone after a match, then you will be in a feud with that person rather than the feud sort of starting a little bit more randomly. So it'll be interesting to see what WWE Universe turns out like. If it is like more in depth, then maybe that's something we could consider for a series for our YouTuber stuff. But I don't know, I kind of like think that the stuff that the, the sort of storylines that we do gives us more freedom to be outside of Universe mode. But we'll see, we'll see, it'll be interesting. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, the news on WWE 2K18. Loads and loads of information there. Have a think about uh, some of the stuff which we've talked about, any ideas that you've had, anything that you're excited about for the new game. Uh, give a shout out to uh, Chris Danger and also Pulse as well. Um, they broke a lot of this news on their channels as well, but I just wanted to talk about how that news could affect the, the content that we make. So go and give those guys uh, some love as well and uh, maybe give them a subscribe to uh, see what stuff that they're going to be doing uh, for WWE as well. Uh, this is a first video of mine that you've watched. Why not subscribe? I don't understand why people take two minutes at the beginning of a video trying to get you to subscribe. Like, why would I? Like, you've not done anything yet. Like, here's some content. If you're here now, then well done. Maybe you want to hang around. Uh, there's a good crew of people on this channel. So hit that subscribe button. Drop a like as well if you so wish. And uh, hang around. That would be ace. So, yeah. WW2K18, that looks like it's going to be sick. So uh, I will see you guys for the next video as we go into uh, the second round of our WWE YouTubers tournament. Uh, I've been N60, Sean. Adios, amigos.